Hello, I'm Neil Curry. I'm a lecturer in structural engineering here at Salford. Um, talking about how uh, the PG CAP course and how the feedback and how the discussions with our peers worked on the PG CAP course and what sort of value I got from that. Um, having come from uh, originally industry with, with 15 years of industrial experience on large multidisciplinary teams, I'm used to working with people that come from other disciplines other than structural engineering but primarily they're all linked to construction so I'm used to dealing with mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, clients and those sorts of things. So when we started the PG CAP course I wasn't used to dealing with people that were perhaps physiotherapists, occupational therapists, tailors, art and media um, lecturers and so when the opportunity came to sort of discuss how they go about their business, how they teach, how they communicate with the students, that was really valuable and also having them sit in my lectures and offer their opinion relating to their experience because they're coming in with no technical knowledge in my field at all although they have lots of knowledge and experience on teaching so getting that sort of neutral viewpoint is really quite valuable um, some of the things that they noticed is that primarily the class was constructed of males it's just something that I'd never given a great deal of thought about it's just one thing that an engineering course primarily is uh, mostly focused towards the males but what they're trying to do is to try and make the material you present completely universal because they could be from anywhere on the globe, they could be any gender, it doesn't matter. So the fact that the classroom was divided in one way didn't really influence the way that the material was delivered. The material was delivered to be completely universal so that any student can come in and get the advantage and get the benefit from it. And one of the things I really quite liked is that some of the other courses when you go in and speak with them are of a completely different scale. Parts of the business school have classes of two to three hundred people, some of the art and media could have a class of ten people. And seeing all of these different strategies and how different concepts deal with it are really quite fun and quite interesting. And you can shamelessly steal ideas and improve them and tailor them to suit some of the environments that you're going with. So um, I've seen some of my peers have been using plasticine, for example, to talk about microorganisms to get the students to create their own models. I think that's a wonderful, exciting way. It also brings at home that sort of physical way of them for doing it. I think trying to create models and opportunities are, are great. Uh, I think. The key to it though is sharing. If you have a good experience or a bad experience, the key is to share it and to discuss that with your peers.